Good morning, everyone. You're watching Grace for Your Day. We're in the Gospel of John. We're in chapter 7, and this morning we're in verse 29. Now, these are the words of Jesus, and this is what it says. But I know him, for I am from him, and he sent me. For the most part, the Jews didn't pay much attention to what Jesus had to say because they thought they knew who he was. He was the son of a carpenter. He was from a place called Nazareth. They watched him grow up. In other words, he was a common man from a common place. So for them, this disqualified him from being the Messiah. They expected a flamboyant king, you know, to come onto the scene out of nowhere and to rescue them from Roman oppression and to sit upon the throne of David. But instead, they've got Jesus. Um, he didn't look very kingly. Uh, basically, he wasn't much to look at at all. The book of Isaiah, chapter 53, verse 2, says, My servant grew up in the Lord's presence like a tender green shoot, like a root in dry ground. There was nothing beautiful or majestic about his appearance, nothing to attract us to him. And so this was Jesus. And so why should they listen to him? Why should they listen to what he had to say? Well, first off, they should have looked at the miracles and really the crowd around Jesus, that's what they were saying. They were saying, if, if this guy is not the Messiah, will the Messiah do greater miracles than him? Because Jesus was doing some incredible miracles like never seen before. Uh, it was God at work, and so it was hard to, to deny the miracles that were happening in his ministry. Uh, number two is what we have today. If you listen to what Jesus says here, he says, I am from God. You know, that God sent me. He says, I know God. I'm from God. He sent me here. There's a reason to listen to him. That he knows the Father. That he came from the Father. That the Father sent him. What an incredible concept. What an incredible truth. The words of Jesus are more important than any other voice that, that's out there. They're more important. I found that many times people, they know, and, and they come to me for advice, or they, they go to a counselor, and they want advice, and many times they already know. They already know what Jesus has to say about it, but they're looking for another opinion. They're looking for some other advice. I'll hear things like, you know, I know I'm, I know I'm supposed to forgive them, but let me tell you what they said about me. And then you tell me what you would do. But they have the words of Jesus. You know, maybe you're needing some advice today. Maybe you're looking for direction in your life. I want to give you some advice. Don't go with your gut. Don't take a vote. Don't roll the dice. Listen to Jesus. Listen to Jesus. Because he knows the Father. He came from the Father, and the Father sent him. I pray these words have encouraged you this morning. We'll see you again tomorrow on Grace for Your Day. God bless.